Equal Protection Clause. Leading off for same-sex marriage, Shannon Minter, who and lived his first exactly 35 years as a female. Does. Our government is based on the principle not just of my majority rule, but equally so on the limit that majorities must always respect minority rights. Minter told the justices that Prop 8, which voters approved last fall banning same-sex marriage, turns gays and lesbians into second-class citizens, and the court should strike it down. To have an official recognition of one's family relationship that is of equal stature and dignity to the recognition given to opposite-sex couples. Attorney Michael Morocco argued that Prop 8 didn't just amend the Constitution, it drastically and illegally changed it by undermining the inalienable rights it guarantees. If you're in the marriage business, do it equally. If you want to, if the state obviously stuck its finger in the marriage business, they should stick it there equally. And if, if they're not going to be equally, then get out of the marriage business. That's our position on that. Later, for the pro-Prop 8 side, Kenneth Starr, famous for leading an inquiry into President Clinton's relationship with Monica Lewinsky. He's now the dean of Pepperdine University's law school and an advocate for conservative causes. We want to restore the traditional definition that has been in place since this state was founded. And almost every other court in the country has agreed with the rationality of that. You may think it's bad policy. You may think it's unenlightened. You might Starr think argued that rights in this country and here in California are ultimately defined by the people, which prompted this hypothetical question from the Chief Justice. Right to marriage, right to free speech, whatever, that can be removed by the simple amendment process. We may govern ourselves very unwisely, but happily because we're in a federal republic, there are fail-safe mechanisms under the federal constitution. Just one, one. So the fundamental question confronting the California Supreme Court is, can the will of the majority take away rights from a minority? A ruling is expected within 90 days. Dan Simon, CNN, San Francisco.